you might not feel that same need to get away. I, I know we struggle with that. However, we need you to hear that there are real benefits of vacation during this stage of life. While many people imagine retirement as a permanent vacation, it really isn't. Retirement is more like a stay-at-home vacation. And have you ever tried one of those? Well, the thing is, you're not going to work. But actually, we do go to work, we don't do. we? Yeah. So that's another reason why we want a vacation. But besides going to work, if you're really on vacation and you're not working, you still have all your usual, usual responsibilities, whether it's taking care of your house and your yard. Uh, maybe you're doing volunteer work or taking care of your grandkids. But your day is filled and you're busy. You are. And to really relax and take time off, honestly, you have to get away from your house. And for us, I don't know about you, but for us, it's easier said than done in retirement. You know, oddly enough, when we were working or you were working, we always planned out the vacation, didn't we? We did. In the beginning, it was around the kid's schedule, but even, even us, we would schedule vacations on a regular basis. But now that we're retired, and maybe you're retired as well, you might not feel that same need to get away. I, I know we struggle with that. However, we need you to hear that there are real benefits of vacation during this stage of life. And Jody, when I think back on our busy 30 plus year careers, I can rattle off and remember some of the most amazing vacations that we both took. We were away from work, we were away from the house, we were away from the kids, from the dogs, and actually it gave us a chance to simplify our life for a week or two, just being by ourselves. I remember that too. I remember going to Anguilla and Alaska and Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Grand Cayman, Arizona, California. Well, hold on. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, well, we went to all those places. Well, we haven't gone. Where have we been since October of 18? <laughs> since we retired in 2018, we really haven't gone anywhere. Well, certainly while well, you're right, we haven't been away. COVID did present a challenge for us, but it's really no excuse. It's no excuse for us not planning a vacation as restrictions have loosened up now, and we really do need one. We do. And we really want to be clear here. We're talking about a vacation, which in our mind is different than just traveling. You know, some people enter retirement with the dream of living overseas for a month or more at a time. And, and while that might be for you, a recent study that we found just showed that while 70% of people entering retirement have travel as a focus... But only 15% have saved for it. So, so many times it doesn't really happen. It's just a dream. And you know, everyone's definition of a vacation may be a little different. So we're challenging you to figure out what is your definition of a vacation? And that's what you have to bring back into this phase of life. Yeah, and for us, we really have three types of vacations that right. we count on. Um, all of them include being away from our home, being away from our community, not having our responsibilities, and we actually turn inward to ourselves and each other and whoever we happen to be with. That's true. You know, we really have our alone vacations with the two of us, our family vacations. Which where, we treasure. Which we, we do treasure, and we haven't done one of those in a long time either, I think. I think you turned 60 the last time we did one of that those. Was that was five long, long years ago. Oh, yeah. I thought no. it was a long time ago. No, I'm only 65. And then we have um, our other couples vacation, you know, vacations that we go on with other couples. And while we love our alone vacations, in retirement, our thought is to really have them evolve. You know, we used to spend so much time on the beach during our vacation mm -hmm. because we were working, we were so busy, that downtime on the beach was what we really craved. But now I think we're going to prefer a more active and educational experience together, you know, like right. walking tours of Italian cities with a historian or cycling tours in Europe. Wait, you're taking me on a cycling tour? I don't of have Europe? anything planned. Well, we do also treasure our vacations with our kids and our grandchildren. It's very special for us to be able to treat them to a really fun vacation. And, you know, it can, it can be a long weekend. It can be, uh, you know, for you and I going alone, it could just be a, a country inn. Um, but, you know, hiking, horseback riding, golf, whatever, whatever is there. What we try to incorporate is experiences 
And when our adult children are with us, these are experiences that they wouldn't have unless they really were with us and we were treating them to a fun trip. Yeah, like when I mentioned Alaska, that was our last big family trip. And we went white water rafting, we rode on seaplanes, we did glacier walks and helicopter rides. And yeah. I don't think any of them had ever done any of those things. No. So that was that was really fun and experiential. But besides um, vacations alone and vacations with our kids, we really are starting to enjoy um, adult vacations, you know, vacations with other couples, one couple, two couple. But these are what we describe as growth friends, other couples that are entering this phase of life who want to learn something about Italy, who might want to take a bicycle trip um, somewhere in Europe. And this is a chance for us to deepen and broaden those longstanding relationships and really get closer with these people because we have a lot of things in common, don't we? We do. And each of the above vacation scenarios or types give us time when we work on our relationships to really connect. And we find that to be so important at this stage of life. We made this video because we are in need of a vacation. So we hope we can inspire you as we're inspiring ourselves as well. So today we're going to focus on four main benefits or reasons why vacations are important and why we need to do one soon. So the first one, you know, really going on vacation is going to improve your psychological well-being. I mean, taking time away from your responsibilities, these are going to lower your stress levels, especially if you're able to spend time with friends or loved ones. Again, it's just you and I together or you and I and the kids or some friends. It right. definitely uh, improves our psychological well-being. You know, also when you do something adventurous or exciting, whether it's skydiving or scuba diving or viewing the Grand Canyon or anything like that, your brain gives you a small blast of dopamine, you know, a chemical associated with pleasure and personal satisfaction. Right. So that is a great benefit. It is. And in short, doing something special is going to make you feel good. Right. Now, the second reason to take vacation in retirement is vacations are going to make you happier. I mean, you really need a vacation so you can be happier because I'm already happy, right? <laughs> no, we, we definitely... Surely you just. We, we need this. But let's face it, you know, an adequate amount of free time and having control over your time, it's an important factor in determining how satisfied you are with your life overall. When you're caught up in the day-to-day -day in your home or the business like this, you just lose sight of... Uh, of everything. And you just need to get away from that to be happy. You know, in addition, play has powerful benefits for adults as well as children. You know, playing a sport or a game involving that anticipation and my favorite thing, competition, surprise, pleasure, you know, takes you away from your self-assessing and sometimes your self-critical tendencies. Right, right. You know, basically... No one worries about what's going on at home when they're horseback riding or water skiing or even playing a round of golf or a match of tennis. Yeah. And another thing, when you're on vacation, you need to remember to limit the use of your phone because if you're connected to your phone, you're not really away from it, every, anything. But anyway, the third reason to go on vacation, we talked about this a little bit. It's really going to enrich your relationships. You know, spending time together with your spouse is going to deepen your marriage, right? Um, taking part in activities with friends, you know, it's going to cement the ties that bring you closer and brought you together in the first place. You know, traditions and rituals such as getting together for holidays or birthdays or a special occasion strengthens your relationship and definitely gives you more meaning in life. That's a good point, Jody. You, you get to talk with one another. You get to, um, and you get strength from the social and emotional support while making these lifelong memories. I don't think we can emphasize enough this alone time that we, that we need and want and time with other couples. 
where there's there's no other influence around us, no phones, right. no interruptions. We're just getting deeply involved in great conversations. You know, the fourth reason is travel really does break up your routine. And and I know you're probably going, oh my gosh, blasphemy, because we preach routine, but and we believe in routines and they are important in your retirement. But you've heard us talk many times, whatever your routine is, when you get away from your home and you break out of that familiar rhythm, you know, you get a different perspective on life. You know, I have this vision of... And you're not great at breaking routine. Well, no, I like my routines because it helps me. But I like to get into vacation routine. What I was going to say is I have this vision of you and I sitting on the beach with our feet in the sand, an umbrella overhead, reading a book, watching the rolling waves of the ocean come in. You know, that is just amazing time to give me perspective on life. And also, if I can be there with our kids and our grandkids, it just feels wonderful, really. Well, except for your envisioning our vacations of the past. Well, yeah. I'm, and, I'm, and I want us to, maybe this is why we're not going on vacation. Why, you didn't like that vacation? I did, but I'm ready to try more Something challenging new? and active and learning vacations. I don't know, I could do the beach tomorrow. <laughs> So listen, here are four steps, and we're going to write these down ourselves because we obviously need it. We're going to commit to these. To help plan our next vacation. So first and foremost, sit down and grab your calendar and grab your partner or your travel partner. Grab your calendar. When are we doing that? After this video. Okay, let's do okay. it. Okay. Except second. For, except for we have a call in 10 minutes, but okay. maybe after that. The second thing is determine what type of vacation will suit you best at this time. Beach. Or active. Right. How about that? Active. The third thing is uh, pick where you're going and how long you're going to be there and with whom. We've actually done vacations where we started off with the kids. The kids flew home and we had friends fly in. So you can even mix it up. Yeah. So grab your calendar, determine the type of vacation, who you're going with and for how long. And then the fourth thing is either plan it out, go online, or do what we do. We have the most amazing travel agent. Yeah. We give her a budget, we tell her what we want to do, and she gives us two or three options. And she always surprises us with amazing things. Us, so and she pushes us to new parts of the world, which is great. We're going to do this. We want to encourage you to do the same thing. Please leave comments for us because we'd love to hear what, what you have to say. Yeah, I think our relationship's actually suffering because we haven't gone away. How bad is suffering. it suffering? Ooh, that suffering. was a big word. Yeah. Anyway. I'll call the travel agent. All right. Well, look, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do us a favor. Subscribe. That would be helpful. Like it and hit the notification button so that you get notified every time a new video comes out. And finally, join our free Facebook community. The link is in the notes below. Thank you guys for listening. And we'll be back with you again soon. Take care.